Clara Dobrev, Fleto's wife, reveals what we all suspected, a stone in lieu of a heart. Word to the wise, it's deeds, not words, that count. Clara Dobre, wife of Ferenc Fleto Djurcha. Fleto married into her clan and did very well for himself as a result. With the clan pulling the strings, he was elevated from a head of the young communists to minister for sports. It was then that he revealed his desire for the job of prime minister, and with his wife's active help, as then Prime Minister Peter Medjish's cabinet chief, he pulled it off. And so started a period of larceny which was like standard left-wing thievery on steroids. They robbed the country blind. The Hungarian left-wing piled debt upon debt onto the shoulders of the nation. They drove millions into the red. Since their sticky fingers were wrenched out of the cash drawer, things have been on the up and up. The management of the country's finances has been just that, managed. But in a TV interview, Clara reinterprets the fact through a very peculiar broken eyeglass. She claims that never before in living memory has a prime minister driven a country into so much debt as Orban has during the coronavirus crisis, with no benefit to the people. What she wants is the restitution of the welfare state in place of employment. Tried that, found something better. What she fails to mention is the package that the Hungarian government has put together to maintain employment and thereby avoid a return to the bad old days of the socialist welfare state. A situation where work was an option rather than a necessity. Rather than backtrack on the progress that has been made in the areas of state administration and taxation, a moratorium on the repayment of bank loans and interest has been introduced and slashing of Hungarian taxes has continued. By reducing the burden on businesses and by providing extra funding for those businesses suffering most, the government, rather than burying the country in debt, is maintaining the sustainability of the economy. Clara seems not to remember that it was her husband who ruined the economy. One of her untruths is the dewy-eyed assertion that the healthcare system has gone to ruin in the past 10 years. Has she seriously been living under a rock? Since 2010, the government has implemented the largest development program in healthcare since the change of regime. There is an unprecedented ongoing increase in the salaries of those employed in healthcare. Doctors, for example, will receive a 120% salary increase by 2023. Stunned that Orban is of the opinion that debt is a bad thing, she's obviously forgotten that her husband's bankrupting of the country and the debt slavery he unleashed convinced all sane people that drowning a country in debt is indeed a bad thing. She goes on to state that with hindsight, the socialist governments should have done what Orban's governments did and strike out on their own rather than following the stodgy EU line about how to deal with crises. That's pathetic. Which would you prefer? A government that follows a one-size-fits-all policy tailored to someone else or a bespoke policy. Fidesz's financial management brought our country back from the bankruptcy that her husband drove us into. Left-wing governments did away with the 13th monthly pension, dramatically undermined the value of wages and caused inflation to break through the ceiling and to head skywalk. Regarding her husband's bankrupting of the country in 2008, she claims that it was a result of the European and American economic crises and had nothing to do with her husband's mismanagement. She even tries to make out that the EU allowed Orban to do what he did, whereas her husband's government had been hamstrung. And then she reveals the hole which can be found at the center of all left wingers, the lack of a heart. Governments understand that in times of crisis, they are obliged to help the people. Although we were able to save the banks, and we were able to save the economy, we weren't able to save the people. That, ladies and gentlemen, reveals all about this communist that you need to remember. An admission of what they didn't do. Deeds matter far more than nice words. Remember that.